I was asked by my editor if there was a particular incident in uh, contemporary political history that I would be interested in writing about. And I said, well, the obvious one is to write something about the assassination of Kennedy. But it's been done so many times, sometimes very well and sometimes not so very well, that I felt it would be too much of a cliche to undertake this project. And he said, well, maybe you need to look at it from an entirely different point of view. And I said, for example, and he says, well, that's your decision. So I went away and thought about it and came up with the idea, what would have happened to Kennedy and how would we remember him now had he not been assassinated? And would he have gone the same way as Clinton? Would he have gone the same way as Nixon? How would his life have, have uh, evolved if that assassination had not taken place? And that was the premise upon which the book was based. The main character is a guy called um, Mitch. He's a journalist. He had a high school sweetheart called Jean. She went to university, became a journalist, and they separated. Many years have gone by, and he hears that she's committed suicide. This does not make sense to him from the girl that he knew. So he goes to visit her mother, and there are suspicious circumstances. He goes through her personal effects, and he finds an indication that she, as a journalist, was investigating issues to do with Kennedy's election in 1960. He becomes very intrigued, not only to look at these investigations and continue them, but also to find out the truth of whether or not his ex-lover really did commit suicide. So he is the central character. Um, and as the book continues, we, we find him discovering more and more and more about Kennedy, about Kennedy's family, about the relationship with Jackie, about Jack's relationship with Bobby, the influence of the father, how Kennedy got into the White House, his relationship with Nixon, all of those things become more and more obvious as the book continues. Who shouldn't? I think anyone who's interested in Polar, anyone who's interested in contemporary history, anyone who's interested in the parallels between Kennedy's administration and the current situation in the United States, Anyone who's interested in a mystery, anyone who's interested in, in a love story, anyone who's interested in a, an intriguing um, hypothetical scenario about the life of one of the most unforgettable men in 20th century American politics and history, and also really one of the most important and yet unresolved mysteries that we have ever experienced within our lifetimes, very definitely.